Hi guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is the lady B Wagwan. Guys, I'm telling you, there's a lot of stuff going on. And uh, today, I'm going to bring you some different kind of news from all over. You understand? So, right now, we know things we are going to Jamaica. We talk about um, regarding Popcorn, Vice Cartel, the DPP, me hear CR car crash cars. Excuse me, L.A. Lewis was on his live last night uh, and he was talking. Even I've part of the live there for sure. I'm telling you guys, boy, I mean, I know if a L.A. Lewis Obia really make the, <laughs> the DPP car crash, I don't know. But guys, all of them, there's something they are going in at the universe. A solar eclipse will be April 8th. Yes, uh, there will be a solar eclipse April 8th. The last solar eclipse was in 2017. I wasn't in this part of the country. I was in a different area. And I remember going outside to watch the eclipse. And as I say, I don't get to know glasses because I don't can't watch it with a naked eye. So I bought this off of Amazon. Amazon a free advertisement. This may again. You know, I'm going to tag on another video here. But yes, buy your solar eclipse eyeglasses i'm also have another thing when me i got talk about um who have problem drinking enough water if you are like me that means you probably have problem drinking enough water so it wasn't even what i did i started off with that well, you know what let me get into that little bit from this let me get to the real business first all right so me need to move this off of my face all right so anyway looking and there are a few things i'm gonna talk about so i'm going to even mention um this is the whole setup from the raid at p diddy yard in miami yes p diddy house got raided today or me can say in mansion got raided today right and i'm gonna get into that article very soon also sorry <laughs> excuse me governor DeSantis of florida signed a bill that banned children under 14 years old from having a social media account but you know say they probably try to go around that I make up fake name and fake everything, but you know, at least they're doing something about all of that. All right. So, um, we're going to get into some of those topics plus some of my local topics anyway. All right. So anyway, make we get to the PDD store because it's the one that look like it really spicy. <laughs> So, you know, who know about P. Diddy? <coughs> there was a alleged rumor or alleged thing going on with him. And we're going to get into that where you get a better explanation of it. So, let me get into the article. So, today, federal agents raided a two-star island home in Miami Beach of Sean Coombs. Better known as Diddy, according to federal sources. And the HSI there means Homeland Security Investigations. So the Homeland Security Investigation of New York executed law enforcement actions as part of the ongoing investigation with assistance from HSI LA, HSI Miami, and the local police law enforcement that was a statement from homeland security investigations so um pdd owns a residence at one Star island in miami beach or oliver miami beach and i suppose i have an idea with the era there which was previously owned by gloria and emilio estefan right he purchased the property for 35 million in 2021 and he also owns a home at two western island in miami beach according to miami dade property records i own two um properties in that era as far as i know all right so the raid came one month after a lawsuit alleged that diddy was the leader of a criminal enterprise that could qualify as a widespread 
dangerous criminal SEX trafficking organization. So these are the things that uh, they are investigating. In the lawsuit, mm -mm. excuse me, guys. Okay, so let's get back on track. Let's get back on track. All right, so it says, in the lawsuit, producer Rodney Little Rod Jones stated that Diddy, his staff and music executive knew about uh, and were involved in illicit and unwanted SEXUAL activities in Florida, New York, California, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. Wow. And all these are allegations. Prosecutors from the Southern District of New York, where Jones filed the lawsuit, are heading the SEX trafficking probe. So they are doing some thorough investigation, right? Um, agents from Homeland Security Investigations in Miami are assisting. Sources say is the main witness. Mm -mm. Jones whom did the hired in August 2022. To produce several songs on his R&B album, the love album of the grid, claims in the filing that the mogul groped him and forced him to engage in SES acts and SE with SEX workers. Oh my gosh. He also said he was ordered to recruit those SEX workers from booby traps on the river a strip club in Miami and bring them back to Diddy's Star Island home. Mr. Jones agreed to work for Diddy and his life had been detrimentally impacted ever since that's what the lawyer says so this person who is who made the complaint was uh is a former employee of uh, diddy all right so they're saying it's not the only time similar allegations have come in recent months because uh, diddy was accused of uh, some kind of sexual assault in four other lawsuits filed by women one involves singer cassie's ex-girlfriend who allegedly um, claimed that, that Diddy abused her and forced her to have SEX with male workers. Diddy settled the lawsuit the day after it was filed. I remember that. Um, yeah, he settled it outside of court. At about 7 p.m., Homeland Security Investigation officers were scattered across the Star Island property. Wow, that must be a sight. Walking in and out of the mansion, a man with flashing red lights and blue lights were backing in the driveway about 25 feet from a large trailer. One officer walked up to the driveway with a police dog, stepping past the iron gate and disappeared to be damaged. That appeared to be damaged. A neighbor who lived across the island told the Miami Herald that he had often heard parties at the mansion and seen People come in and come and go at all times. And you know that is expected because it's, it's, it's a big celebrity. So you can't afford to have those parties. But, you know, right now it is a investigation um, area. It's at all times, said the man who declined to give his name during weekends and on the weekdays. So he's basically saying there's a lot of stuff going on at the day. Oh, so, you know, sometimes, you know, some neighbors just like, you know, be... Um, you know, sometimes they have some kind of neighborhood watch thing. Anyway, so that's what up. But looking at some of these pictures, man, me see all laptop and them something there. Like them might take quite a number of things from off the property. So let me go over Twitter because it's on Twitter. Let me see. Only on, only indeed. So they showed it on Twitter as well. And, um... They show it on Twitter where it says, Diddy's home in Star Island and also Beverly is property have been raided by federal agents earlier today. Um, and uh, what's wrong with this phone? Yeah, earlier today and, um, you know, they are showing some of the things. Oops, that they came out with. This is a big truck. Mm -hmm. So they raided it. And you know normally when you raid a property for those reasons. You um, collect evidences. 
you know, you collect um, a bunch of evidences, you know. So that's what's up. Or that's what's that's what's going on with regards to that situation. So let's hope that uh, you know he's not really involved in those uh, trafficking thing. You know, as allegation said. You understand, and that's one of the reason why T D Jakes has gotten involved in the whole investigation because uh, he was, uh, um, you know, they claim alleged that T D Jakes went to a party that did they put on i don't know if it's true but it was an allegation and the other day me in the news um on this um other in the in the news where they said td jake's daughter forced this lady to uh, let her adopt her son or give a person i don't wonder if them there's something they really really true but the lady who the accused she no not the accused but uh, the the defendant is not a court but the, the, she came on live on somebody else's live a youtube channel and she was telling everything and uh, the reason why i kind of lean towards believing because she said that um if it wasn't true then they would have sued her already for defamation of character and they cannot sue her because that person was a member of their church went to live with his daughter because she was having a rough time. She had a bunch of kids. And the daughter was helping her. And all of that. And she was pretty much tricked. You know what? I'm gone off topic. But anyway. <laughs> let me get back to the meat of the matter. But basically I was saying. Um, she was pretty much tricked. To sign a paper. Um, allegedly. To sign over her rights as guardianship. But um, she said she didn't know. That was what she was signing over. But anyway, she says she's trying now. She and the child father, they're trying to get back their son from T.D. Jake's daughter. That's Sarah Jake's, the pastor one. So, guys, you know, <sighs> oh boy, I may never know what to say. Um, but it can, it sound more, it's, it's unbelievable. And the reason why I said that is because, you know, I don't see them coming out that they're going to sue her for defamation of character or anything like that. And it's it's up to recent as three weeks ago, the young lady was on um, on a channel talking about it. So, you know, it, it is what it is. We just have to keep ourselves. Um, we just have to be selective in some of the people that we listen to because I don't even know what to say, man. But anyway, let's move on to the next topic. Yes, guys, let's move on to another topic. Right now, I want to say, all those who know Snoop Dogg, well, everybody knows Snoop Dogg, 50 Cent, Eminem, um, in the middle, not the middle, but right beside, to 50 Cent left. Is that his left? Based on, oh, yeah, look at it. That is Dr. Dre, right? So Dr. Dre became... The 2,755th star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He was honored. And that's very good. Um, So anyway, he gave a speech. But, you know, I'm not going to play the speech. Quick and short, the guest speakers were Snoop Dogg and uh, Jimmy Levine. I hope I saw the name pronounced. All right. And that was happened. That happened Tuesday, March 19, and they called that Dre Day. So Tuesday, March 19, is officially called Dre Day, or is it Dr. Dre Day? I think Dr. Dre Day or Dre Day. All right. So he was honored about 11:30 a.m. They had a ceremony. Um, you know, Snoop Dogg was the guest speaker. He gave a lovely speech. I watch it on YouTube. Um, and uh, his, uh, some of these persons over there, you have Eminem, 50 Cent and Snoop Dogg. And they were also, with the exception of any Eminem, were on Jimmy Fallon live. And they were talking about, you know, the whole experience of hip hop and, um, all of that. Dr. Dre being a very, 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 let me first say no, I don't know, being a producer. All right. So how did Dre contribute to the music of hip hop? 
All right. So they're basically saying that his contribution was undeniable as a producer, a rapper, and entrepreneur. And um, Dr. Dre has continuously pushed boundaries and set new standards for excellence. So it is the great pride that we honor his incredible career and extraordinary impact by awarding him a star on the Walk of Fame. So Dr. Dre star will serve as a long lasting symbol of his immense talent and enduring legacy. And when he made this speech, he was pretty much saying, him no know why them take so long. Forgive him because Snoop get a star before him. 50 Cent get a star before him. And, but now he's eventually getting his star. So that's very good. All right. So basically some things about Dr. Dre, he began his career as a member of the world-class wrecking crew. Shortly after he co-founded the revolutionary group, NWA, NWA became the fifth hip hop group to be inducted in the rock and roll hall of fame in 2016. So he founded that group. The group was recently honored with a Grammy lifetime achievement award 2024. All right. So, also, the Compton, Compton, California native embarked on his solo career in 1992. Oh, and time when he released his solo debut album, The Chronic. I'm not listen to that yet. I did say I'm going to listen to it. All right. Which has been certified triple platinum by RIAA. Reached the top 10 in the Billboard 200 and won a Grammy for best rap solo performance. Let me ride. All right. Dr. Dre launched Aftermath Entertainment in 1996, where over the years he discovered hip hop superstars such as Eminem. When I was growing up, Eminem was one of my favorite artists. Me just used to listen a lot to Eminem um, music. 50 Cent, too, but he wasn't a favorite, but me listening to music too. But you know, everybody loves Go Shawty. It's your birthday. We got a party like it's your birthday. So, you know. Then um, he also discovered Kendrick Lamar Anders and Anderson Park. Jimmy Levine and Dre established Beats Electronics in 2006. Right? So if you have a Beats, almost everybody own a Beats. I think we have about one or two Beats. <laughs> anyway, Beats um, Electronics in 2006 and later launched beats music apple acquired both in 2014 so beats is now owned by apple in 2017 hbo released a four-part document documentary of the defiant ones i'm not watch that yet chronic chronic cycling chronicling chronicling the life of mm, of relationship of Levine and Dre throughout the years and how they have shaped some of the most exciting moments in pop culture. All right. Dr. Dre won a Grammy and an Emmy for the defiant one. So all um hip hop lovers who are watching this video, go ahead and go and um support Dr. Dre, even though I'm, I'm very rich. Anyway, so in 2013, the USC Jimmy Levine and Andre Young Academy for Arts, Technology, and the Business of Innovation was founded and established. Wow, they did a whole lot. In, 20, in 2022, they expanded their efforts in the LA Unified School District, opening the Loving Young Center. And some of them, something here, more here for we reggae artists are doing. Now. More want hear our reggae dancehall artists, our dan special dancehall artists, our reggae artists. Some of them stuff here, me want to hear them I do. Build up school, community center, and then something they invest in the country. You know, I'm just saying. All right, so let me know what you think about that. All right, so anyway, um... They also open in the LA school district. They open a IYC. It's an integrated, it's a youth center, integrated design, technology, and entrepreneurship magnet. Oh my God! You know, say if you go in the magnet school, day most times it's a you have a lottery where you have to have a wait list because then school is hard for getting a a new high school that will offer students grounding the same cutting edge curriculum. 
Dre Dre donated $10 million to Compton High School for the school's new performing arts center, which broke ground in 2022. That a year before last. The facility's name, Andre Dr. Dre Young Performing Arts Center, um, according to the Compton United School District. In 2022, Dr. Dre collaborated with Snoop Dogg, Mary J. Blige, 50 Cent, Eminem, and Kendrick Lamar and the Pepsi. Who remember that show there? Oh my God, that was one of the best Pepsi Super Bowl LVI halftime show at the Sophie Stadium, which took home three Emmys, including a win for Outstanding Variety Special. The one and only time the Super Bowl halftime show has won an Emmy in that category. In 2003, the Recording Academy and Black Music Collection created an inaugural Dr. Dre Impact Award to celebrate his trailblazing achievements in music. So this past, past February, Dr. Dre Snoop Dogg launched a gin and juice, gin and juice by Dr. Dre and Snoop, the first ready-to-drink product from their new premium spirits company. So they also have a spirit company, my God. The brand will be announcing more offerings in the future. So my goodness, so we want to say, um, this is Dr. Dre right there, third from my right third from my left second from my right um you know he had he did a whole lot and whole lot is just making it mild in the music in the hip-hop industry because um you know growing up when you hear 50 cent to your snoop dog you hear dr dre you hear eminem so you know that's basically what's going on we want to say big up to this um honoree dr dre yes guys talking about music our artists popular jamaican artists popcorn popcorn yes i'm telling you guys popcorn is in the news again i remember the last the last time he was in the news, it was when he was seen working in his parish, St. Thomas, I think, for some positive things. So, you know, we highlight the positive and the negative. So right now, basically what I'm seeing here was where Popcorn was in a tussle, was in tussle with police after stunt riding incident. Um, And I watched the video, you know, so I'm never going to show the video coming to everybody and their mother said that the video they are ready. All right. So basically they are saying he was um, engaging impromptu stunt riding demonstration over the weekend to please the crowd that's gathered on Constant Spring Road in St. Andrew. And this got him to got him into hot water. Oh, I'm gone. Got him into hot water with the police who asked him to stop. So there's a video that's widely circulated um, that's showing popcorn wearing yellow and Riding a three-wheel bike, they call that a trike. Steps when a um steps in when a police officer attempts to halt other bikes. The officer then confront popcorn, leading to a scuffle. But bystanders intervene and separate them. Mm. The other bikers flee, leaving popcorn among a noisy crowd of supporters and police officers in a chaotic, chaotic, chaotic scene. We will not see the video yet. Let me just go and watch it by myself, yeah, man. Oh, it's just a short one. This is not the full one. Mr. the full one. Found, um, we see full one earlier. Yes, yeah, so guys, if you don't want to see the full one, you know, just Google it and you know, we see it on YouTube. All right. So basically, there was a scuffle. 
Popcorn was heading. Mm, I read this already. <laughs> Popcorn charges could include careless driving without causing an accident and blocking the road. All right. So, um, Popcorn's lawyer is Bert Samuels, and he was not able to uh, answer any kind of um interview about the incident. So basically, they're saying between. During the face-off between the cops, irate bystanders verbally abuse the members of the JC. If you know boy, the Jamaican, them not easy, you know. Tell them to go suck their mother and all of that. So another person said them bad mind. Um, somebody said, oh, no bad mind because oh, no can buy a three-wheel bike. Go suck on no mother. Oh, my God. Online, others express fear for unruly bar safety. Swear me just one puppy left Jamaica, but not everyone was a complicit in Popcorn's action. Popcorn real name is Andre Sutherland and he had a tense relationship with the police in Jamaica. Um so I'm just saying that the other day when Popcorn was an, an at unruly fest, his show got um a show well they stopped the show basically, you know, he was supposed to end the show at four o'clock and they give him extra time and in six o I mean five o'clock. But with all them little stuff that, that's going on with popcorn and the police, I would just say, um, you know, like that stunt thing now, I mean I know if that was really necessary and that was just my thought. I n remember watching this channel name this guy named Kiefer where he um he does he doesn't do the stunt but he go to different places in LA. He was in New York and now he moved to LA um, and, uh, you know, follow cars that do stunts. And most times they have to do it where no police is because it's an illegal activity. It's very dangerous and all of that and it can cause um, accidents. So, if you know, it's just a choice to do stuff, um, you know, that's not going to cause any danger. Our stuff that's not going to be um, considered illegal by the police. Or even if it's considered illegal or um, I wouldn't probably illegal is not the right word. Somebody drop in chat the right word. But anyway, um, you know, based on the facts, eh, I have a lot of running with the police because right now I'm mostly bad and good things are exposed. I mean, not exposed, you know, uh, in uh, the media. Good did it, but bad did it too. So I would just probably, you know, make not give nobody me advice, but me that probably just keep a low profile, you know. I would just keep a low profile. Excuse me. Anyway, some other things um with regards to the unruly face where um popcorn was fined six thousand dollar which we don't know that the money there we don't know <laughs> that the money there we don't know anyway he was also fined forty thousand dollars for breaching the nice abatement act um you know so anyway right now that's what's up and talking about unruly fest popcorn next unruly fest will be in london let me see if we get the time right i think a london and uh, Spice will be on that unruly face. You understand? So I'll all live in London. I don't know I'm going to take in the family artist. Family. We say family. We want to take in the family artist. I to make sure I say. I to have no ticket. I want to buy no ticket. You understand? All right. You know, say this never the penny. But... Uh, me have to talk about this. Who remember? Who remember? Who remember do John Griffiths? Who remember me the one vlog about him? A lot of people vlog about him. And where he, where he, K-I-L-L, -L -L, a girlfriend, and the baby died because the baby was in the car. Um, For some reason, me don't have a heat. Who remember him? My God, me said the mother come on our live. Not, not the mother, the girl mother. So the little boy, the baby grandmother. And she was so elated. She, it was so heartfelt because they capture the accused. They capture, they capture, me say it again. They capture Dujan Griffiths. 
Mm -hmm. That was not part of the thing, the whole thing, but uh, me afi. Let me say me can find. Let me say me can find the entire. Let me say me can find an article, so you guys can be reminded. Mm -hmm. Let me know if me can find. Let me know if me can find the um. A YouTube video, me I don't want to know YouTube video. Okay, so this was saying death of woman, her infant daughter found in car. This is Orange County, where it said Dujan Griffith. He was twenty three. Now that time he was twenty one. Um, mm -mm. he let me lose it freaking something. Where he was um. Yes, guys, this is a picture of Dujan Griffiths. I finally found it. Uh, Dujan Dwayne Griffiths. It was a big thing in the paper where, you know, the lady lost her life and the baby also um, lose uh, its three points. 23-year-old. He was 21 at that time when it happened. 23-year-old. Um, or 20, 20, I'm 23 now, so he was 21. 23 year old accused of the 2021 um it's 2024 now and if it happened 2021 depends on when in birthday could have been 23 or 20 it can it can it, it can't happen when I'm at 21 so anyway the news uh, that Dujan Dwayne Griffiths the 23 year old accused of the 2021 K-I-L-L-I-N-G of 20 year old Masania Carly Shea Malcolm and her baby daughter carly in miami florida has been caught and arrested by the united states authorities has brought a sense of relief to montego bay the hometown of the victims and the accused villain so they're saying that um you know he was captured and i remember the whole story where the mother had dujan living with them and you know it, i mean boy may i tell us that sometimes you can't even trust people so anyway let me read some of the comments then because I know say I know say it rough. Anyway, somebody said it's the fact that somebody owes them all this time is alarming. So they're saying all this time, you know, he, somebody put him up and it's sad. Um, somebody said, are you sure about this? Why it's not over the news? That was all over the news. Um, oh, she probably mean the U.S. news. Me no no, let me research. Let me do my research. Let me see if it's in a, the, the the paper. Hold on there. Okay, so the mother was the one who came out and said he was caught. The mother of um, of the the lady. So that's how we know. I don't see it on any of the international news media, like Fox News and them something. But you know. I'm not saying this. I, I just went to see if it was there. But the mother was the one who indicated to the public that he was caught. So let me play the part of the video. Family, friends, and supporters, and well-wishers. Today, March 22nd. 2024. Three days ago. I'm coming live to let you know that the police has incarcerated Dujan Dwayne Griffiths. Dujan Dwayne Griffiths is in custody. Is in custody. The world Dujan. The world <laughs> Okay, so that was the girl's mother. She said the um, Dujan is in custody. So, my God. Oh, boy. Anyway, right now, we're going to get over to the L.A. Lewis side because DPP car crash allegedly. May I say allegedly because me only hear about him and never see the official report. So, may I go see? Michelle, do me sorry for my companions, but uh, 
We are going to look for the official report and address that. Yes, guys, so right now we're going to hear from L.A. Lewis. L.A. Lewis was on his live last night, and he was talking about the things. He mentioned Paula Llewellyn regarding a car accident. I'm going to try to see if I find it, but I'm not saying nothing about it, but it's basically allegedly them say if something goes so, it goes near so. So he's saying he did not, he did not obey Paula Llewellyn. He did not obey Paula Llewellyn um for her car to crash and uh, before i get into that uh, i remember that i mentioned about uh, what the miami what what they signed what the florida government mm, governor signed a bill that he signed i'm almost in the live i don't remember that but let me read it real quick and fast um and this is saying that uh, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed a bill on Monday that will prohibit younger children from 14 from joining social media in Florida. So if your kids are 14 and below, those who are fo um, 14 and below will not be able to be on social media, you know, when you put in your age, unless they put in the wrong age. Um, and also, if you're 14 and 15, you will need your parents' consent before they can join a social media platform. Because, you know, now a lot of kids have TikTok, Instagram, um, you know, they're not, the young people don't do Facebook again. You understand? Young people don't do Facebook. Oh, yeah. What happened to my picture? Madam Speaker, we have... How are Vanessa? Oh, I forgot to say this is a one pre-recorded video. Let me try to get my um, window capture design. Put that up here. So. Okay. I forgot that was a, the L.A. Lewis was a pre-recorded pre video. Yeah, so basically the bill, which is HB3, also directs social media companies to delete existing accounts of those who are under 14. Companies that fail to do so will be sued on behalf of the child who created the account on the platform. The minor could be could be awarded up to ten thousand dollars in damaging damages, according to the bill. Companies found to be in violation of the law will be liable for fifty thousand dollars per violation, as well as attorney fee and court costs. So they're clamping down. Jamaica need to do something like this. And that's just me saying it. So there's a bill that is signed by Governor DeSantis in Florida that is going to clamp down on persons who are under 14 that have social media account. So basically they're saying that uh, if there's an existing social media account, they should delete it. And if there is... Uh, Anyone between 14 and 15 that's going to start a social media account, their parent has to do a consent form. Um, how about that? And, um, yeah, so that's basically it. So make we get back to L.A. Lewis uh, to hear what he has to say about uh, the whole uh, um, DPP, Paula Llewellyn and all of that. Why should I get a lot of beating from left, right, and center? But anyway, make we hear what L.A. Lewis have to say. I never crash Paula Lewin care people. I never me. This is my shaggy moment. It wasn't me. Or that song they go to the gonna gonna corner. It wasn't me. Paula care get crushed. It wasn't me. I did up with them crash it. It wasn't me. So DPP Paula Lewin care crash people. <laughs> yes, sir, people call me say Emperor. Boy, you're the baddest woman, man. Oh, you crush people. Remember, you know? Paula Lou and them now, the people say, they're my cultists. They're my cultists. So, for them, science bad. But this is like the days of Moses now, people. And the days of Pharaoh. So, Paula Lou and Andrew Wally said, the two fear and fear Isha. So, we said, Paula Lou and let the people them go. But you say, oh, what? I'm praying that we'll snake it up, no bad like for we, for, for we, uh, for we demons, I'm going to say, Paul, let the people them go. So now people, Paul alone can crash. 
Make me save the blow out the arm um, glean and I put this out tomorrow. Make me save the X News. Make me save the TV them now put up all alone. And if them don't put out that story, the people. I saw we know something about wicked. So yes, guys. Um, I'm not gonna play the full video. That I've got be one next video. But right now, um, L.A. Louisa say, I know him. Crash Paula Llewellyn Car. And if the gleaner not put it out, them are wicked because the gleaner for put it out. Me never really sit in a gleaner. So me no know if it's a allegedly or what. Um, so she, he was saying that uh, I know him. It was, <laughs> he said I did up with him. Anyway, um, you know, him just take a shot of uh, um, Andrew and Paula Lowening. Say Andrew and Paula, Fira and Fierisha, whatever that mean. Say, so, um, Paula Lewin is a cultist, but for him, Obi a tranga than for Paula Lewin. But anyway, guys, let me know your feedback with regard to that. Uh, um, re with regards to that comment, drop a like and a share <laughs> in another video if you um have not yet done so. Also, I want you to go ahead and you know let me know what you think about the P Diddy raid. Um, let me know what you think about uh, the the fact that the governor decided that he had signed a bill. What do you think about that bill? Do you think it's something that should be implemented in other parts of the state and Jamaica? I don't know. But you know, say, people go and come up with alleged name or alleged number, um, date of birth. Like, you know, them just probably put fake name or fake date of birth. But what do you think about that? Um, also, what do you think about popcorn getting in another back and forth argument with the popo? What do you think about that? Uh, drop your comments in the comment section. Um, if you're new to the channel, remember, oh, me said that already. Anything else may I left? Okay, so guys, me know say this, are the, this are, is a long video, but me have to unbox that gift here. This is a gift from my sister. I have to unbox it because my son want him bun and cheese. So I have to go unbox it right now. So, right. Pass it, pass it, pass it box to me. I'm going to unbox it right, right away. Right, now let me take, let me take L.A. Louisa from the screen. Get one, one nice. Let me make sure it's a me address now. Sure. <laughs> All right. Ele me done with you, you know. Yes, guys. So I'm going to unbox the gift here. Every. It's a little bit better. Thank you. So. I want to say thanks to my sister in Fort Lauderdale. Every year, she send me my banana and cheese. She send me my box. Um, I don't know what in it, but I know the banana and cheese in there. So, I'm going to unbox it right now because I'm not going to wait till Easter because I don't want to take too long to finish this banana and cheese because I'm not strict. No, not, not too strict. All right, so right now, let's see what's in the package. All right. So here, let me see. You see the word there? East, what did that say? Easter bun. So, me glad me didn't go buy no crackers. So, this, I got tough crackers. Whoa, you know, can't chat to me. So, we have tough crackers. I say, where they look? Um, nougal, cock soup, chicken nougal soup, pumpkin soup mix. Oh, wow. Look at this. John C. Cheese here. This is the cheese I got. I know tonight, it's a cutting out tomorrow. This is the cheese. <laughs> oh, me think I did the other one. This is if it open, man. See, this is a cheese. It is if it open, Jordan. Trying. Oh, we forgot some of the live. Okay, so 
This is my bun. I mean, this is my cheese. And where the bun day? When you're buying Easter bun, make sure it's HGV. It's hard to be because it's got that. Mm. It's something under that quality bun. But I feel nice. I don't want to cut it tonight because if I cut it tonight, I'm going to eat bun. So. And then I have two dirty gal. Two dirty gal. Mackerel. All right. So, if you reach this far in the, in the video, let me know if you don't get uno fit uno bun and cheese. Let me know if you don't get uno bun and cheese. I may have one more thing for unbox. We probably would do it in a one different video because this video is long enough. But let me show you real quick. Um, I want you to do the water challenge with me. Anybody want to do the water challenge with me? Let me know. Um... So I bought this off Amazon. Amazon, I forgot to pay me. I bought this off Amazon. It's a buckle, glass buckle, 64 ounces of water. And I put my fruits in there. In this one, I have orange piece of pineapple, cucumbers, mel lemon, Mr. Melon, lemon. And what time is it now? It's 1140. So I'm going to drink the rest of it. So I can safely say I drink more than 64 ounces of water because I add one more bottle of water in this today. So And my sister was one of the, one of my sisters, because me have three of them, was the one who told me about this bottle. It's glass. You can carry it like this. Um, I used to use this other type of bottle, but we kind of changed from the glass, from the plastic to the glass. But people still use, if you have plastic water bottle, um, CMT. So if you want to join the water challenge with me, um, let me know and probably me go up on TikTok later tonight and make my water. So I'm going to start. I'm going to make my water. Even if me not go do it live, if me not make the water live, I'm going to make the water and I'm going to put it in the fridge tonight. Me never get to make it last night, but me make it early this morning. And I had an appointment. Me care about my appointment. Me make sure I say, <sighs> me I go right lady be panino. I may mean, I go say if lost, please call this number because this is me go right lady B on it and it say it and right if lost as a matter of fact me go do one liquor sticker if lost please return to <laughs> because we can't afford to lose this yes guys so who wanna do a water challenge with me let me know and we can do a daily check in. Um, I need to buy a scale because me need to start do my daily weight, not daily weight, like weekly weight. But yes, guys, I am so excited and I'm excited about my banana cheese. So when we cut the banana cheese, you know, we see, and me have tough crackers, me have pumpkin, and uh, I am very excited about this box. So once again, if you're new to the channel, like, share, and subscribe in the notification bell. So I know, so so you know when I upload a video. I think I said this about three times. Me gone here, man. Me gone on my yard. 